our result set from our select statements. So here I've selected star from customers and it's returned all the rows of data in our customs table as you would expect. So we have 24 rows. But let's say we just wanted to return five rows of data from the customers table. Well to do this we can use a limit statement. So we can go into our select statement and we can type select star from customers and then on the next line we can type limit five. So limit followed by the number of rows you want returned from your select statement. And if we run this now we can see it's just returned five rows of data. So it's returned the five rows where ID is equal to one, two, three, four, five. So that's how we limit the number of rows in a select statement. And we can also apply an offset to this limit. So let's say we didn't want the five rows returned where ID is equal to one, two, three, four, five, but we wanted ID six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, to do that, after the limit five, we can type offset five and run that statement and you see now that it returns the IDs for ID 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So this is how we apply limits and offsets to those limits when we're selecting from tables. And we can use any numbers we like in the limit and the offset. So we can type limit 10, offset 5 and it will return the customers with ID 6 through 15. Now we can also add an order by statement in our select statement. So let's say we wanted the first 10 customers alphabetically by last name. We can come into our select statement. We can remove the offset because we just want the first 10. And on the next line after our select star from customers, we can type order by last name and have a limit of 10. And you can see it's no longer ordered by ID, but it's ordered by last name. So we have the two nulls like before, and then we have Armstrong, the Bluths, and then Paul Edmonds. So that's how we return the first 10 rows ordered by a column. So ordered by last name in this case. So this is how we limit the number of rows returned in a select statement. We use limit followed by the number of rows you want returned. And then we can also apply an offset if you don't want the first number of rows.